Anticipatory grief is when you can anticipate the death of a loved one. It's the emotional pain that you have knowing that your loved one is going to die prior to the actual death itself. Anticipatory grief also includes and, and triggers other losses that you've had. So it could be past losses, like maybe your mother or your brother or somebody in your life died and it's triggering that. Or your present losses, things that you're in, uh, experiencing now with the losses as associated with the illness or things that you can't do. Your social life is compromised as a caregiver. And it also is those future losses, kind of those intangible losses, plans for when the person was going to retire, what they were going to do. They were going to make this trip or do that. And now they can't. So they have the loss of that dream, loss of that thing that they had looked forward to for a long period of time. Really one of the great benefits to anticipatory grief is recognizing that this is a good time to communicate with your family and with the person who is dying so that you can reminisce, you can do some life closure, you can reconcile things that may need to be reconciled, you can be together and that's one of the good things about it and if the person is intellectually still there you can do some legacy work, you can create an ethical will, this is the time to do it. Those are those moments when you can really fully experience life to its fullest. And people are vulnerable and they're, they're wanting to talk about things. So it's a great time to do all that. Even the advanced care planning, funeral planning, what you want, all those little things you can talk about because you're anticipating it. And it, it, it gives you the time to do that. It affords you that.